Hi YouTube, this is your girl Sandra, aka Simply Love. If I was on a little pause there, something popped on my page and I didn't know, I didn't see the recorder button on, so excuse me. <laughs> you know what I want to say? Happy New Year's to you. This is going to be the reading for Aquarius, so we're in the age of Aquarius. It's going to be a beautiful, beautiful thing. You guys keep your eyes open and stay focused because what it looks like, you know, in the illusionary world, it really isn't. You have to look beyond that and go spiritual, go deep with inside yourself, and you'll see something a whole lot better coming up for the age of Aquarius. Things are going to get better. It looks chaotic now, looks crazy, but all that's going to be taken care of by the universe. All The universe always take care of itself, and remember that if we rely on the universe, where we come from, our spirit guides, our ancestors, you won't have no problem with this transformation that's coming up in the world. But if you're, you know, if you're still, you know, dangling from the world to the spiritual, I mean, what can you expect but confusion, just like the world is. So you have to, you know, be on one side or the other. Hey, but that's up to you. You got free will. You can't say you've never been told. So, <laughs> in that case, I told you before Aquarius, I want to say happy birthday to all the Aquariuses uh, for this month of January going into sometime in February. Um, I am going to do like an extended reading. I'm going to read um, intuitively first and then I'm going to shuffle the cards and then I'm going to have some extra bonus cards in here for you for to start the new year out for everybody. So, with all that said, I'm going to say some more at the end of the video, so can't make me shut up. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's get on with the reading. Aquarius, this is for sun, moon, and rising signs, okay? The um, the court cards has no gender when I start reading the cards, okay? Because it could be male or female. And remember, you guys, it's just a general reading. Um, you can, well, you're welcome to read your uh, rising and your moon and Venus signs on my other videos if, and see if some messages come to you then. But I'm going to, you know, I asked my spirit guides before I met, when I meditated and, and turn the video on to do the reading. Um, I asked to reach out to as, you know, basically everybody that tunes into my channel. Welcome all you guys that are new and, um. I really appreciate you being here and the ones that's been here since day one, okay? So, Aquarius, see what's going on with you. Just give me a moment to focus, okay? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm seeing some of you Aquarius out there, this year you're going to get married. You're going to get married. There's a marriage for a lot of you Aquariuses out there. So congratulations to you. And I wish the best to all of you who are going to experience this love thing, this marriage thing, this commitment. This uh, And this is your soulmate I'm hearing too. For a lot of you, it's going to be your soulmate. Okay? Um... And for some of you, you are, you had a baby. Some of you Aquarius out there just had a baby. Some of you Aquariuses are going to have a baby. Um, um, and I think some of you are not going to really know it. It's going to be some sort of it's like like um, take you by surprise or something. I'm hearing by surprise. But um, yeah, some of you are, are giving birth to a baby. Some of you are finding out that you're pregnant, and some of you already have maybe a couple of kids and expecting another one and there's going to be marriage for a lot of you I'm hearing spirit say for some of you out there um, there was a, su a surprise event that took place the end of de December some of you for like the beginning of January, there was some kind of surprise, something either somebody took you for surprise, or you took some someone else by surprise. There was like a there was a falling out. Okay, there was a falling out with with you and a partner. You might have done this to them, or they done this to you because there was a lack of communication. I'm hearing, and there was um. No emotions involved. For some of you, it's from somebody from your past. And for, for some of you, it's for somebody that you just met. 
Some of you, it's, it's a marriage thing, I'm feeling. But I feel like, you know, some of you are going to, are really going to, um, uh, through this month of January, be signing divorce papers or leaving. This is just for some that get, you know, you have to put it into whatever fits to you. Each one, whatever I'm saying from spirit is not for everybody, but some of you are going to understand what I'm talking about. You can hit the comment section to let me know. Um, there was an unexpected uh, breakup or letting go of something. Um, leaving the old behind and, and bringing in the new. For some of you Aquariuses. And whatever this um, breakup or uh, divorce or let go of somebody, it was totally by surprise, you know. I feel like for some of you Aquariuses, you're going to get a, a surprise behind letting go the past. You're going to, you're going to actually, there's something, I feel, I, I see somebody like, I see you like fishing and you're catching something. It's like a, it's like a new catch, something new, something that's going to take you by surprise. You're not even going to be thinking about anything, but your work is what I'm hearing. But there's a surprise catch coming. No sooner than you let something go, there's something brand new coming in. It's going to be a real good catch is what I'm hearing. Male or female, okay? It's a good catch is coming. And it's definitely going to take you by surprise. You wasn't expecting it. You wasn't even looking for it. I'm hearing spirits say that some of you Aquariuses have um, caught somebody cheating or lying or... Or theft. I feel like theft is in the picture too for some of you Aquarius. Like somebody trying to take something from you or taking something from you on a sneaky tip. And, or somebody's being selfish. Like all they think about is themselves. And they get what they want. You get nothing in return. Aquarius, somebody is trying to put you in a trap or um, manipulate you. I'm hearing manipulation. So be careful of who you talk to. Some of you are going to get this. Uh, you're going to let something go or, you know, you just pulled the rug from underneath a relationship or a, a marriage. You just pulled the rug and said, fuck it. And then some of you Aquarius is going to get this good catch coming in. It's, it's a good guy or a good girl coming and you ain't expecting this. It's just going to take you by surprise because you're not even worried about no relationship, you, you, you know, for some of you. So that's the surprise. Now, you know. Um, for some of you, you're dealing with a sneaky person, somebody who is like, you know, trying to be a player, basically. They're trying to be a player, and um, you need to be aware of that. Be careful. If somebody, if, you, if you're feeling inside yourself something ain't right, or if some of you may do some type of investigation, you will find out that you're dealing with a player or someone who's just trying to use you. And your spidey senses is going to let you know. That's what I heard. I just heard that spidey senses. You guys got it. You guys are rocking. Yeah, I do see a real nice, handsome guy or girl, nice looking girl coming into you guys' life. I mean, they got their shit all the way together. I'm not saying it, you know, I'm not trying to put you in a fantasy world about, you know, um, like a Cinderella story and all that slipper, you know, they got a slipper and they're going to put it on you, that motherfucker don't fit or it will fit. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about just somebody that you can, you know, that that's emotionally available because I'm hearing a lot of you Aquarius has been dealing with, um, male or female, been dealing with someone who, you know, you've been getting these people who you, you invest a lot in and they invest nothing in you. Actually, they're just a user. Uh, they're an abuser. Um, all they are is just a mirror, like a mirror is like some type of insecurities or they are just not emotionally available and you kind of get caught up in their emotions but some of you Aquarius has learned your lesson behind that and when you see signs you you know you can play around and laugh and stuff like that with people and talk all intelligent you you guys deep down inside y'all know what's up people don't realize that you know what's up they don't realize it they think it's a game and the reason why they think it's a game is because they're a game you know they like to play games so, you know, while they're playing games, you're, you know, you're taking in all this information, you're taking in every little word, every, everybody got to say, it don't matter whether it's family, friends, or relationships, you are taking this, you're, you're taking the fifth 
dimension Aquarius. Um, you remember the, the group, the fifth dimension, if not look it up on YouTube and they'll talk about the age of Aquarius. We are it going into fifth dimension, the age of Aquarius, and they'll tell you what it brings in, you know, so we have to be in tune with, you know, the universe so we can know what the hell's going on around us. It's just that simple. Fuck man. We talking about the universe where we came from. All right. So that's what I see for you. I see uh, this, this handsome good looking guy that women want uh, but they and when they but when they hook see you and hook up with you they want to be just with you Aquarius that that's for some of you Aquarius they just want to be with you they don't want the other other chicks but they chasing them they like them they chase them but he don't want them some of you is in for a surprise like I said a, a catch there's it could be for anything. I just see a surprise for you. Something's coming in. Some of y'all are being deceived by somebody. They're trying to use you. They're trying to manipulate you. And they're trying to get you in their mess. I hear they're caught up in a mess. They're in a mess. And they're trying to get you caught up. In, but I believe you guys are, are on to it. I'm hearing that you're on to it. And that's probably why a lot of you are going to be, uh, it's going to be like a breakup. So here's the cards right here. Let's get into that before I, because I could say a whole lot more, but um, I'm just going to let that go. I don't want these videos to go too, too long. We've got 12 signs to read here. So stick with me, Aquarius. This is just some notes I have right here. I'm going to read those to you. In a little bit. Okay, let's see what spirit. What do you have for um, Aquarius for the month of January, the new year, 2018? Bunch of these fell out, y'all. Y'all ready to spill your guts, huh? Okay. Nothing wrong with that. Tell it like that's how we are anyway. We like to tell it how it is. <laughs> We just get it all out. That's why we don't. That's why we always so happy go lucky, and people think we're dense. We're happy go lucky because we don't hold shit in. Um. Wow, you got the Ace of Cups, Aquarius. See what I said to you intuitively. You got some good stuff coming in here. Um, for a lot of you, the Ace of Cups is talking about um. Uh, joy, fulfillment, joy, happiness, love in a love relationship, a brand new love relationship. Aquarius, a lot of you are starting all over again. You're starting from scratch. Um, and I'm hearing from for some of you who gave up on a relationship or let something go because of intuition or something was telling you something. Um, it's getting ready to pay off for you, for you listening, you know, for you allowing to leave that to the universe. Whoever it is, is you were dealing with or something, uh, I'm hearing the universe gonna, is giving them a spiritual whooping. They're going through it right now, badly, okay? But you, my friend, are going to have it really, really good. An overabundance of love. You can drink from this cup, and it'll never be empty. You know why, Aquarius? Because you always put your foot out there for people. You always look after others. You... Um, have had a spiritual, this is also talking about a spiritual transformation. I'm not saying you're perfect because you know nobody's perfect, but you are noticing your flaws, you know. Um, you took time out to purge a lot, you know. When you can purge a lot, that's a good thing because it'll teach you a lot. Sometimes the same lesson will come around again just to te just to let you know how strong you are. Not that you, anything's wrong or that you know you keep getting something wrong and disappointed. No, it's just from the lesson that you learn spiritually. And then it's going to show you how strong you are. And then they're going to reward you. They're going to reward you for letting them control. Not you control, but letting them control by letting something go. You're getting ready to get reward big time Aquarius congratulations all right let's see what else popped out here <clears throat> and you got the star card Aquarius major arcana major event okay you got the star card here which is means that your dream your hopes and dreams and wishes are coming true whatever you hope for whatever you dream for or you can or some of you can just make this come true Things are falling in your favor for, you know, coming January throughout the rest. Um, you're you're, you're going to have your way, Aquarius. This is your card. The star card represents Aquarius. 
okay? And you see how she's wishing on that star? And that star is so bright. You're a star, Aquarius, is what I'm hearing. You're a star. You know how to make it happen, okay? In all areas of your life. Your spirit guides, this also represents spirit guides, are protecting you. They're protecting you. They're giving you a lot of um, um, intuitive. You're intuitive and your um, psychic powers are really strong. Uh, you're seeing it through dreams. You're seeing through people. You're seeing through places. A lot of things you have to be like, and you're calm and cool about it, and you have to be. Because if you let somebody know where you're coming from, they can use that against you. So keep on being aloof and make people think that you're stupid or something's wrong with you because Believe me, it's not so. You are doing fantastic, okay? These two cards together is like dreams coming true with love, your emotions, love for yourself. You finally realize that you really, you finally realize that you are worthy and you know that you're worthy, Aquarius, and that your dreams, hopes, and wishes are finally coming true after a period of karmic, karmic situations going on in your life, even through, if it was through childhood. Let's see what else popped out here for you. Okay, you got the King of Cups. You could be this is an actual person. So it could be a king or a queen because male why? Male females are watching. Put this up some. Hope y'all can see this really good. All right, y'all know I got a, a gazillion tarot decks and I have to ask spirit which ones to use. So they told me to use these. Don't ask me what kind they are cuz I throw the boxes and books and everything away. So Getting on with the reading, you got the King or Queen of Cups, okay? This is, look, Aquarius, I don't know what to tell you. You are in for some good stuff this new year, all right? You got an abundance of love with the Ace of Cups, okay? You got the Star Car where all your wishes and dreams are finally coming true. You're going to have to pinch yourself, Aquarius, to see if this is really real. But it is because the tarot says so. And so the spirit, because spirit speaks through tarot. And you got this young, uh, uh, older guy here who is very mature, who has their self together. Um, they make they make money. They make good money. You could be coming on to someone or somebody could be coming to you or you coming to them or in, they're going to be definitely interested in you. This person is very aggressive. When they see something they want, they go get it with, with a passion. So you can <laughs> you can run and hide all you want to, Aquarius. Whoever this is is coming after you. They're coming hard. Okay. And they're coming with truth. And they're coming with like no bullshit. So Keep an eye out on this. It does They don't necessarily have to be an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. It could be in their natal chart. Because remember, we're reading for um, sun, moon, and rising signs. So get ready. Get ready, Aquarius. It's coming. Wow. Mm. You got Major Arcana, the fool. I'm sorry, the <laughs> fool. The hangman. Sorry about that. <laughs> you got the hangman. And um, I feel like... It's going either you or this other person is just going to just be peeping you out at first. Like they're just going to be like looking at you um, and admiring you. And I'm feeling for some of you is from afar. OK, somebody's going to be admiring you from afar and um, they really checking you out. You don't know how much they really care for you. Um I believe it's someone, some of you, it could be somebody from work or you already know them, like a friendship type thing going on, but it's going to get more serious. Okay. It's going to be more, more, get more serious because, um, and it may be somebody you already know and you kind of like, they're going to come into your life just like, like that. And they're going to be like really, really real, sincere about what the, the love that they feel for you. They're going to be have a lot of passion behind it. Something you haven't seen in a long time and you're going to like that. You're going to know intuitively uh if this guy is if it's from somebody from the past, you're going to know intuitively if they're if they're on time or not. You're going to know. You're going to know spirits telling me this, you're going to know because you definitely are protected by spirit, okay? Because you do you don't you don't do wrong by people. When you do good by people, good comes for, to you and you are protected by your ancestors and your spirit God and your most high. They will protect you. 
from dangerous or people that's seeking no uh, has no good intentions for you so stay happy that's why you stay happy you wonder why you be happy that's why so you and some of you are just going to if it's somebody from the past you might go to look at it you might go to be saying I'm gonna look at this from a different point of view or they might be telling you that they're going to look at they looking at something from a different point of view and for all of you who are single you're just going to take your time you know you're just going to like you know kind of like look it over check it out and there's nothing wrong with that some of this could mean you know you may be leaving your options open you're not going to be uh, you, you know kind of like hanging around to leave your options open that's all it's not like you know if you notice they're upside down but they're comfortable being upside down so that's telling me they're you know with these chains and stuff that you know they just like I want to be like this for a while I need to be like this for a while I need to wait I need to wait there's a waiting period here okay for some of you Aquarius is out there there's a waiting period or somebody's you know got you waiting or you got somebody else waiting on hold and or like I said in suspended animation Wow, you got major card the chariot. So after this point of waiting, somebody's coming to rush in. Okay, they're rushing in, and they rushing in with a passion, like with a drive. Like I know what I want, and I want you, or you want them. However, the situation may be, it's it, it, you're just gonna go forward. Brand new beginnings. Just starting all over with a clean slate for some of you. Some of you is going to be new. Some is going to be something that returns to you that you just let go. Okay? It just depends on what Aquarius we're talking to. And some of you who are single, there's you definitely are moving forward after a period of after a period of thinking, you know. There's a thinking period or looking at something or re-examining something, okay? And then after that, look at this shit. You got the lovers, man. Mm. Some of you are going to have a choice in two people that you have to decide from. Some of you, this is just a blessing from the from the universe. As I said again with the, with the uh, Ace of Cups, uh, the star card, your dreams, hopes, and wishes coming true. This guy that's coming in that, that's very, very prominent, okay? And very emotionally um, ready for love. They've been, I'm not saying they're perfect. They've been through some things too, but they didn't let it get them down to the point to where they're not, they're, you know, sulking and crying all the time. They're a very mature person. This person may be um, a little older than you, or they may be of the same age. So you're going to look at it from a different point of view, or you're going to wait. You're going to, it's going to be a waiting period. And then after this waiting period, you're charging forward with the chariot. Okay, and then the lovers come in. This is where the decision comes in at. Should I or should I delve into this? Should I or should I tr uh, trust this? This is a, a blessing from spirit, okay? Giving you a blessing of choices. For some of you, you just gonna it's just going to be a blessed union. Like I said, some of you are going to get married. Somebody's going to give you an offer of marriage, okay? And it's going to be blessed. Look at that light above them. And it's going to be very passionate. Look how he's holding her. He's all up in in her, all with her. He's for her, or or him. He's for she's for him. Forgot about him reading for both. Um, you got the three of swords. So when I feel like with the three of swords, with this truth, there's somebody here that may be um not telling the truth, and that's why you're like putting them on hold or cutting or making them wait why you why there's something else that charges uh to you okay and that's where the lovers come in for some of you for a choice make sure you make sure you choose wisely you want to avoid this three of swords okay because sometimes three of swords could be a heartbreak where um some of you have gotten your heart broken by somebody or you broken somebody else's heart aquarius okay be it due to a third party situation at that some of you were doing this or or the other person that you were around were, was doing this okay 
So somebody is going to experience a, a heartbreak because of a, that somebody may have made a, a choice of who they want to be with. And, that, and somebody's getting turned down or you're just, you know, you may be afraid of, or some of you, you're just afraid of a heartbreak. It's like, you know, the swords card talking about your mental, you know, the way you think. So you be thinking, you think or you know this person has a third party and you're ending it. Okay, for some of you. Like I said, this is going to be an extended reading, so get ready. Yep, you turned your back. Look at that. You turned your back. This could be an Aries, Sagittarius, a Leo. You could be dealing with a Gemini. You could be dealing with your own energy, uh, Gemini or um, or Libra. Um, you could be dealing with a Cancer, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. You, Aquarius. Or uh, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Just, just saying. But it's general, so don't put your coins all in the bucket when I'm talking about the signs. I'm just giving it to you. Remember, this is general. But you have turned your back on a third-party situation. You left it behind. You're not getting stuck in any kind of third-party situations anymore. You know that you're more than that. You know your future holds something better for you. Because why? You have a love for yourself. You've learned self-love. somewhere. You had a spiritual awakening in your life. And you don't treat yourself the way... I mean, I'm not saying you're told, you know, you're, you're so different. It's just that you learned how to love yourself. Through a period of waiting. Okay. And through that period of waiting. Some of you were just um, coming into. Or somebody come back. Or a new relationship for some of y'all. And you avoided a heartbreak. Because you were you know, blessed with intu intuitive. Some of you have psychic powers. Some of you are empathic. And you know. It, it, you're okay with it. You're okay with, you know, marching alone if you have to. But some of you are not going to, it's not going to be that way. Some of you are releasing a heartbreak or getting over a heartbreak because of someone walking away or you just walked away from somebody or you hurt somebody else and you're walking away. You you, you see a you see something better. You see a future. This is planning. You planned this. Okay, that's what I'm hearing for some of you. You planned this. Walking away situation. You, you've been contemplating it. Spirit been talking to you for a while. But you didn't get emotionally attached. And that's that's good. That's what helped you to walk away so easy. Without any emotional or mental uh, stress. It's just you just zoom, zoom, boom, boom. See you later. For some of you. Because that person was in a third party. And you knew it. You didn't even have to see it. You already knew it. Yep, see, here it is. And that pop sucker popped out. The Seven of Swords. But this is your energy, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. But they could have, you or the other person could have this in their natal chart. So, like I said, let's not take the sign seriously. I'm just letting you know. And this is just a, a minor card, too. This is just explaining the situation. But when I say major, listen up, because that's spirit talking. So, um... The Seven of Swords is talking about somebody, you know, like I said, making a plan to get the hell out of Dodge from a liar, a cheater, or a thief. All right? I want y'all to hit the comments and tell me. But some of y'all in for some, you know, you're going to have a choice in love. Some of you are just going to, you know, want to go on in alone. You don't mind. You know, you're going to leave your options open. And you're gonna you're gonna make a choice. Just a moment while I leave, while I shuffle. Yeah, some of y'all escaped a heartbreak. You escaped it before it happened. You wasn't playing no game. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> All right. And this is extended because it's your birthday and um, I still got some more. Look, you get ready for you catching this shit. Somebody who was lying, cheating behind your back, telling you all kind of lies, deceiving you behind your back. They, they thought this was a fucking game. But the, you know what? 
the game was on them. The, those who play games with others is a game on them. And that's what you call karma. Okay? And, and some of you, you know, you caught on, went to it, or you just, it was intuitive. But it was like a, a, an enlightenment with inside yourself that was telling you this. So you made a plan with the two of wands here to get the hell out of Dodge. You snuck away. You just left. You, you know, you, you got your sanity. You kept your sanity because the swords is of what? Your thought pattern. And you got the hell out of Dodge simple is that it's just that simple but you're in reward here because you know for some of you it could be your soulmate you could have jumped the gun maybe or it could be vice versa too with this maybe you done this to someone okay But I'm strongly feeling a lot of you Aquarius is this was done to you, okay? For some of you, it was a soulmate that you snuck away from. This was your soulmate. For some of you, um, you're going to meet a soulmate. Somebody you can see eye to eye with. Somebody who is emotionally available for you. Somebody who is available, period. They're not a, um, a, a woman chaser or a womanizer or a man chaser that likes a bunch of men okay they want one person they want an, uh, an um they want true love could be a cancer pisces or scorpio to enter in some of you lives okay or not necessarily but that's the energy of this card uh is very emotional because it, what they're emotionally ready to give you love to give you what you want so you two are going to see eye to eye and, uh, and you're going to, you know, uh, you're going to blend very, very well. You see that enlightenment on top of their heads? It's like they, they both think alike. Um, people, two people, um, uh, when you talk, you're, you're both thinking the same thing. And it comes out in sentences. You both say the same thing. Like, yo, whoa, what? Yeah, what? This is going to be a beautiful thing for you, Aquarius. Enjoy. You deserve it. Let's see what else popped out here for you. The Hermit. Some of you could be dealing with the Virgo in particular because that's what the Hermit is, Virgo. But what the what uh, it is Major Arcana. Remember, listen up when it comes, when I say Major Arcana cards, okay? That's spirit talking. Spirit is saying to you, Aquarius is out there, male, female, thank you for, um, for holding on. Thank you for speaking, I mean, waiting. Thank you for waiting. Thank you for list, going inside yourself and um, listening to spirit. Listen to your most high. Listen to your ancestors talking to you. They were they were helping you out throughout this whole situation or whatever was going on. We already talked about it. You can always rewind. Um, um, it's all about waiting to. They're thank you know waiting for a situation, waiting for your soulmate to come in. You know, at their period of, uh, a lot of you are going to be going through a, um, a soul searching, um, a soul cleansing, uh, meditation, going inside yourself, um, a spiritual awakening. You know, a lot of you already, already been through some, some spiritual awakening, but you're getting ready to just finish it off, you know, top it off, um, this is also a card of healing. You need some time to heal. You need some time to yourself, okay? Before your soulmate arrives. Or it already arrived and you may just need, still need some type of healing. So you just snuck away and um, decided to stay to yourself, okay? And like I said, some of y'all could be a Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone like your sign, Aquarius, Gemini or Libra, uh, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. I'm seeing, I'm seeing everybody. A Gemini, a Gemini in particular, um, a Cancer in particular. Okay, so we've been through all that. Okay, so you got two more cards that popped up here. Okay, and we got the Knight of Wands, the Knight or the Princess of Wands. Okay, you see that? Okay, now this is somebody. Who thinks very strategic. They're very smart. They're on guard. Somebody here is on guard heavily. You see all that uh, freak. He looked like, look like Iron Man. Okay. He look, he look, <laughs> I mean, I don't mean to be funny, but he looks like Iron Man. 
you know, all geared up, all got his horse robed up and everything. I mean, I ain't never seen nobody robe up a horse, but I guess that you can, obviously. So this person, there's somebody in, you know, it could be this Virgo here, or it just could be you or any of these other signs that you may be, have been dealing with. They're heavily guarded. They're guarding their self. Um... They're moving along, but they're just too guarded right now. And that's probably why they're taking their time or you're taking your time. They may need some more time to heal. If it's for some of you ones that I said that's um, uh, somebody from the past. For some of you that is a new relationship and you're seeing some gaps or something going on. It is your soulmate for some of you. Um, it, they need some time. They need some time to because you know they want to. They want. They moving. They're taking their time. And and another thing is that they still haven't gotten over something. There's something you know internal with inside their self with the hermit being here that they haven't gotten over yet. And they need some time to to think it over or maul it over. And they can have options too. I haven't seen that card yet, but I'm just picking up. Yes, I did here. Four cups. Be careful. Um, I feel like this person who's all geared up and guard, guarded up and, 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 and kind of like... Somebody could be a little selfish here too. Think of thinking about nothing about their self because who who would put a blanket or shit or whatever this is over their horse? Like, you know, you ain't even you ain't even getting on my horse. This could be you, Aquarius, uh, exhibiting this energy where you're just totally, you know, shut down for now. You're looking, you can see it, you know, you got the Iron Man garb on and all that, and you got your horse protected, everything like that. But it's you—you you still see you got you got your eyes wide open, even though you're all protected up and all guarded up and everything, and got your guard on. You know, you're <laughs> actually you're ready for battle. Really, if anything comes, you're ready for it. You're ready for the challenge. Um, so we got the Four of Cups here, which is telling me somebody is bored. They're bored. Um, this could be your energy, Aquarius, acting like this. Or there could be somebody in your energy acting like this, a, uh, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It's like a missed opportunity. And it's also like regret. Somebody is in regret. Either you, some of you Aquarius is out there, male, female, or somebody around you is in regret. Why? Because they wasn't opening up. Like they said they would, okay? Like they did, they just didn't come through like they said they were. So, too bad you missed out on a good one. Or for some of you, they just meet, may need some uh, time, and they might be back. No telling. Either way, Aquarius, it, it doesn't matter. You're still going to be okay with this two of cups in your reading. One more card I'm gonna pick out of this, and then I'm gonna just do your bonus your bonus um, cards. I hope this made sense to some of you. Okay. Three fell up. I'm picking this one. Okay, you got the Queen of Pentacles or the the King or the Queen of Pentacles. Like I said, you okay all by yourself? You don't need nobody for nothing. You're not in want for anything, but it always seems like somebody around you is always wanting something from you. Why? Because you, you're successful. You put your hard work and energy into whatever you do for yourself to be comfortable in life. We all need to be comfortable in life. I mean, we're, we're not going to, we're not going to be working forever. We're not going to be, um, uh, um, like I said, let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you something about the, the Exodus. The Exodus has begun. The Exodus is talking about revelations. The Exodus is talking about separation from good and bad. Because it, obviously people don't know how, don't know what side they want. So if they want the bad side, that's where they're going to end up at for like 300 and something years. A lot of people don't even live that long, but you might as well say for eternity. And some are going to be on the good side, you know, on the good foot. And this looks like you on the good foot, Aquarius. Uh, this is the energy of a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, male or female. 
your money is straight, you're saving. This is your hard work. This is what you put into it. Did nobody get this to you? You did this for yourself. So you could ride alone. You could ride alone and let that person sulk in their own guilt. Okay? Let them sulk in their own guilt. There was an opportunity here, but they just too guarded. Saying this, saying that, but they still too guarded. Not releasing, not opening up the way they say they were. Not, not willing to negotiate. Everything had to go their way. Actually, I'm picking up manipulation. They were manipulating. Why? Because they were being sneaky. Some sneaky shit going on. And it might have been with a Virgo and all a uh, Gemini. Um, someone like your sign. Okay, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Okay, so that's what I got for you guys. Okay, things are looking good. If this hasn't happened to you yet, you're be on guard for the, the situations I did say. Okay, so now what I'm going to do for you is read some cards that I got from Germany. They came in a beautiful sash. Let me show you. Came in this beautiful sash. I think I read for them from them a while back. It's been a while. So let me shuffle and get some messages from them. Okay. And then I got two more. And, and then I'm going to end it. I said this is a little extended because it's the new year. <laughs> okay, let's shuffle. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Spirit, what other messages do you have for Aquarius for the month of New Year, January? 2018 and I'm going to pick three okay what other message you have for Aquarius for the month of January there we go that fell out there we go I love when these cards just fall out I don't, I don't pull cards and take because I feel like I'm taking them and it's like not the right messages if I just pull from them so I let them fall out that's what you're supposed to anyway so you got card number 14 let me show you what it looks on the front just to give you a picture of what this looks like on the front see how it's shaped like a heart <laughs> so this is matter of the heart and it says a lot of chatter about love Ooh, Aquarius got a lot of chatter about love for some of you I'm picking up that it could be like other outside interferences okay about your love life or what you're doing in your love life like what you know outsiders or it could be just somebody just wanting to again offer you love you know they're talking about love they're thinking about love and they want to give it they want to offer that cup of love to you all right Okay, for some of you, you got number 12. And let me show you what the picture looks like. I hope you can see behind the glare. Okay, so yours says, the importance of expressing your needs. Okay, so Aquarius, whether this is you or someone around you, it's very important if there's going to be a relationship that you get the... Get it right up straight from the get-go about what you want and what you need out of this relationship. Now, I'm not trying to say get in there and, you know, be all like, girl, boy, man, I want this, I want that, and it's going to be this way or it's going to be no way. I'm not like that. No, I'm talking about a mutual agreement. You know, come up front and express. what If they don't like what you have or what you feel like you deserve, and if, you know, vice versa, then it's time to just, you know, go separate your separate ways. It is. It's just time to go your separate ways. No, there's no time to be wasted here, okay? And I'm not saying be in a hurry over anything. It's just don't waste your time on something or someone who is not emotionally available to you. Okay, so now you got card number 55. And let me show you the picture. And let me read to you what it says. Restarting a new life. As I just said, some of you are going to restart a new life. Some of you are rekindling with someone that you already know or who you already knew. Um, yeah, these two, they're flying high. This is almost like the two of cups to me in, in the regular tarot deck. Okay. This is like a, a twin flame type thing to me, but it's important that you definitely express what you want from the get go. 
don't play no games, no bars hold, okay? And um, it's a lot of, it's, it's going to be about love. Let me show you what it says. I don't know if I showed you. So you don't think I'm bullshitting. That was this one. And that one, there it is. So you can see it for yourself. Okay, there you go with that. That's your bonus. Now, what we're going to have here next, <clears throat> I'm going to give you an angel card uh, reading, okay? See what the angels have to say. <laughs> Pardon my silence while I shuffle. Spirit, what other messages, what the angels have to say for um, January 2018? I have to get used to saying 2018 uh, for the sign of Aquarius. Give me a, a message from the angels, please. I'm so excited for you Aquariuses out there. You, you've had a rough year, but I am so excited for this brand new year, this brand new beginning for some of you. Weddings, babies. I know I ain't have no dad. I know that for a fact. I have no baby. But congratulations to those who are. New relationships, getting rid of the old no longer tolerating, you know, um, expressing your, your own needs rather than worried about every saving everybody else and doing what they need to be done and they don't give a shit about what you do. All right, here is your angel card. Do I need my glasses or don't I? I just got new um, contacts, so I don't know. Or one, in contact with one. Okay, you got uh, Merlin, Merlina. Angel Merlina. Merlina. <laughs> it says you are confused and indecisive because you do not have enough information. Okay, do re do your research or seek expert advice before making a decision. Okay, so for some of you, I already told you with the um the lovers card, there's a decision there, and I told you that um you know for some of you, there's something going on, there's something going on behind your back, um and um. Somebody's not being honest with you and you're going to have to further investigate or, you know, use your instincts. And uh, if some of you don't do that, you know, hire a private investigator, do something to find out what's going on here for some of you that I've, you know, read for intuitively. You know, there's definitely some secrets or something going on for some of you and you're going to need the help of uh, your angel. Melina is telling you you're some of you are confused. You're in a confused state and it's indecisive because you do not have enough information. You don't have enough information. That's the confusion. Somebody's not communicating with you, maybe, you know, or you may not be communi communicating with someone else and there's some kind of confusion. So do your research, seek expert advice before you make a decision. That's for just some of you. Okay. Let me pull one more for you and see what it has to say. Okay, we have um, Angel Shante. Hope you can see these. Okay, and your angel says, I am an angel of peace. I bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. Wow, Aquarius. Remember the Ace of Cups? That's what this reminds me of. You're on the path of, um, uh, some of your Aquarius is on the path of, of some peace, finally, in your life. You know, it's going to be very peaceful, very smooth transition, um, especially when it comes to love, because you simply love what? Does love reading. So that's basically what they're saying. That there's an angel watching over you, and they're going to bring you this, Aquarius. Congratulations to you. Okay. One more bonus card for you guys, and then I'm going to let you go and, and finish continuing to have a wonderful new year. And the cards that I'm using are my cards, Simply Love's 
affirmation oracle cards okay i designed them and everything myself and thank you all who purchased already i mean i really ran out really fast so i had to reorder but and thank you guys i appreciate that and i hope you're enjoying them as giving yourself um <clears throat> some confirmation that you need on a weekly basis i'd say use these on a weekly basis okay just shuffle it shuffle them up pick one and have that as your affirmation for the week. All right. Um, if you look on the community part on my um, YouTube channel, you'll you, you you know just email me. It'll tell you how to get you know get these. A lot of you just been emailing me and going through PayPal and making your payment, and I've been sending your cards to you. I'm gonna pick two of these two as well. Like I said, this is bonus month. <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay, for some of you, Simply Love's Affirmation Oracle card says, um, don't take the BS. That's for those who I talked about, you know, you know, know your worth, you know. Some of you are going to be restarting a new life. For some of you, the importance of expressing your needs. You got to express what you want. Don't take the BS, Okay. Because if you're not going to express what you want, what are you going to get? BS means bullshit, okay? For y'all that want to know before you go down to comment session. What does BS mean? Anyway. Okay. Yeah. Don't take the BS. That's, that's my saying. And for the next one, it says, let go and let God. And that's for some of you who's saying, you know, this decision making, um, uh, maybe there's somebody that needs, um, some time to their self to really, you know, um, even you or the other person may need some time to, uh, totally heal. You know, maybe they thought they were healed. Maybe you thought you were totally healed, but there's still room here for healing and it's waiting. So, you know, let go. And, and for some of you, and let, let God, the universe, fix it, do what they have to do. Let them have their divine timing because everything is going to happen in divine timing anyway. No matter what you do, no matter how you try to hold on, no matter what, divine timing is going to be in divine timing because we're all here for a reason and a purpose. And we got, and that, and that's going to be fulfilled because that is a blessing from the universe, from where we were born, our most high, our creator. What he says goes. I don't care what man says and laws and rules and regulations that they have. What spirit, which we got to learn to understand, this universal laws out here. And it's all built in. I mean, you can feel when you're doing something wrong. You can feel when you're doing something right. So that's what you have to go by. This heart of yours. And I'm not talking about the physical heart. I'm talking about the spiritual heart. You've, you've got to learn to deal with your heart. And your heart will communicate with your mind. And then that's when you're that's when you know you're in sync with spirit. Okay? And that's enough of, of that. <laughs> okay, now that's gonna end the reading for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. And like I said, happy birthday to all you Aquariuses out there, including myself. And uh, I wish you all the best. A lot of you are coming to your you're coming into your dreams. Hopes and wishes, that star card, that represented an Aquarius, okay? So, with that ending, I want you to know that you can contact me on my website at www.simplylove06.wix.com, wix, W-I-X.com, forward slash love. And I will have that information down here in the, um, in the um, description. Remember, you guys, to click the tab so you'll know when my videos come out. All you who are subscribed, all of you who wants to see my videos and like seeing what my videos are about every month, click that little button so you'll know. Okay, now I have a, I have my own app out now that I would that someone uh, approached me with, and you know I talk uh, we talk long and hard about it. So I'm involved with and, and I have my own app and it's called Instant Go. I N S T A N T G O. Instant Go app. 
And you can reach me at www.instantgo.com forward slash simply love. That's how you can go on the website and you can, you know, type that in and, you know, it'll I'll pop right up. It'll give you my rates and stuff. That's something like if you're on the go or if you want a quick question, you're able to text me, call me, video. T- um, we can do video to video. Um and like I said, go there, you'll see all the rates and stuff like that. Like I said, it's, it's instant. It's like I'm available all the time for you. If you have a quick question, um, even if it's something longer, but you know, if you want a full reading, look below, contact me on my email address, which is s simply love 6 at gmail.com. And that'll be listed below too. So you can also go to my clothing and get some of my clothing line. I got all kind of stuff over there. You name it, I got it. Simply Loves uh, is my clothing line. You go to www.simplylove06rage R-A-G-E, on dot com rage on dot com and that information will be below and please um come on over to twitter visit me over there my um uh, all the uploads of my monthly videos are over there on twitter facebook i upload them on facebook uh you can go to instagram i'm not really doing too much of stuff on instagram because this is a lot that i'm dealing with now i've been and i get bombarded with reading as soon as i get my uh videos out um but i am there and I do put stuff out every now and then. <laughs> um, visit me on Google Plus. My videos are uploaded there. You can, you know, contact me if you're calling from out of the country. You can contact me on Skype, and that's Sandy S A N D Y dot or period Brown B R O W N one twenty five. And all that information will be listed below. Thank you all so very much for viewing my channels, for sharing my videos all over um, social media. You don't know how much I really, really love and appreciate you guys. And um, I'm going to have, like I said, the prizes that we did when we w- went live. I'm going to be mailing those out tomorrow or the next day. Okay, so, you know, get ready for those. I still have two people. I only had two people that I haven't heard from yet, but I'm going to send, I'm sending another w- warning out. Look, and I'm just going to just pick two more people and get those prizes out. Okay. Um, so that's why I said it's, it's very important that you have your little um, uh, bell that informs you when my vid- videos come out. Okay. With that said, again, have a wonderful, great new year and happy birthday to each and every one of you Aquariuses. You guys are in for the time of your life and it's about time too huh okay so you guys take care i love you love is all there is and love is all there ever be you guys take care and i love you bye bye <laughs>